many of you know, UC Web has not only had success here in China, they've also had quite a bit of success in India as well. Our next guest started in India and has now become the largest independent mobile advertising network in the world. Please give a warm welcome to the CEO of Inmobi, Mr. Naveen Tiwari. Good afternoon. It's a, it's a great pleasure to be here uh, every year. You know, I've always maintained uh, three years ago, we actually, so GMIC is very important to us. It's very, very dear to us, very close to us. Uh, because about three years ago at GMIC, we launched in China. So we'll use this as a platform to launch ourselves. And not just that, I think, you know, the reason why it became even more important to us is because for the first time in the, at this GMIC, we'll be launching probably one of our finest innovations that we did at Inmobi. And I actually want to share that innovation with the group here today. You know, about 18 months ago, you know, I sat down with some of my engineers 18 to 24 months ago, and we went into a debate. And the debate that we went into was, hey, what is it that we can do to change advertising on mobile phones? What is it that we can do to essentially make advertising very, very different from what it is today? And as we went about that process, one of the biggest things we talked about was all of us around here, including ourselves, who has built great and large businesses, do not like banners. We actually literally hate banners. Within the company, we hated them. The consumers didn't like them. A lot of the publishers, game developers, nobody likes these banners. And we said, what is it that we can do to essentially not have them. As you can see here, there are businesses that are, that are built across the world on these banners. Every day, roughly about one and a half billion people see banners from us. And we didn't like it. We, we wanted to disrupt that fact that so many people are looking at these things which are not that great. And today, some of the things that we did, some of the innovation that we made was all, all around how can we essentially let the banners die? We want to essentially eradicate banners. We didn't like them. We don't want them. We essentially wanted to eradicate banners from the, from the system. And as you can see here, some of them are not the best user experiences. So we essentially, for the first time, through, as an advertising company, literally put the user at the center of all of this. As we put the user at the center of all of this, we decided to essentially figure out what is it that we could do essentially to change some of these things. There have been multiple attempts that have been made in the past to make ads far more likable. But the problem has been that irrespective of the solution that people have chosen, those solutions are not very scalable. They work in small scenarios. They don't work in all the scenarios in the world. So you will have some of these nice looking things that people would come up with, but none of them would be very scalable. So one of our challenges was, as we tried to solve for these problems of making ads beautiful, we needed to make sure that we do that at a scalable level in a way that it is applicable to not just one or two publishers, not for one or two advertisers, but it is applicable for every publisher out there and every advertiser out there. And so we launched this product, which we believe is the future of advertising. 
from a user experience perspective, which is what we call native ads. As you can see here in this example, and I'll, I'll play this again, the experience of the ad is actually merged with the user, merged with the content. The ad is no more disjointed from what the content is all about. Not just that, actually if you noticed here, even the action is native. We actually change the definition of a click. We change the definition of a click to essentially make it similar to what the content is, similar to what the content looks like, because we felt that it's not only about how it appears, but how you actually interact with the ad also has to be native. So we made a lot of those changes to this. Let me show you some examples of this. Because for the first time, we actually put the user at the core of this experience. By the way, before I get into the examples, I actually believe that nat native advertising, by the way, is going to be fundamentally shifting and disrupting the ecosystem. It is going to disrupt the ecosystem because for the first time, a large portion of advertising will be so ingrained into the, into the user experience that the results of it, and we'll share some of the results with you, the results of it are significantly higher than the results that we've seen anywhere else in the past. Now let me show you some examples of this. So for example, you know, we tried to essentially change the user experience within the gaming. We wanted to look at gaming and we wanted to dis disrupt gaming advertising. We wanted to disrupt the user experience within the gaming world. And here are some examples of how it essentially looks like. There are some very simple things that are done to essentially figure out how they could look very, very different. Each one of these changes are so fundamental, are so innate to the, to the game, because you can, uh, you can essentially create the whole experience which is around the game. So as you see this here, each one of these things, each one of these ex experiences are picked up from the game background itself. And therefore, they make very different user experience. We, we not only changed this in the gaming world, we actually went further. We looked at how we could look at the news vertical, how we could put, you know, put advertising as part in the news applications, which are very different from how it's done today. And so as you can see here, the advertising is now starting to essentially blend into the news. The blending into the news is core to the user experience. Again, there are a few examples of how it really blends into the news verticals as we go forward. Again, one could look at a lot of these examples because news appears in many forms. All of us are using applications where the, just the, the way the content appears is very, very different. All of these experiences are, are fundamental and they are, they are core to how we believe we are disrupting the user experience. By the way, each one of these things as we do also impacts the ROI for the advertisers. The results that the advertisers are getting are phenomenally different in, this, in these kind of formats because the user is really liking them and wants to interact with a lot of these things. Some, of, some examples on within the news vertical and how things are changing. We then moved on to saying, you know, we talked about gaming, we talked about news, let's look, at, let's look at the communication vertical. It's a very large vertical, it's a very large segment. You know, billions of users are actually on the communication applications every day for the largest portion of their time. And if you actually put in banner ads into those, it'll actually disrupt the user experience, kill out the experience, the users will go away. Therefore, it was very critical for us to essentially put advertising within this 
which was very close to how and very native to how communication is essentially done. So if you look at this here, there are many examples on how we try to essentially blend communication, uh, advertising within the communication ecosystem. And they're very innate to how every developer is essentially creating the communication experience. So as you look here, there are many things that we are doing which are now becoming part of the, part of the experience and therefore changing. There are multiple players, by the way, that within the communication that we, have actually, we are actually working with right now. We've been able to essentially increase the way at which monetization on a per user basis in the communication world happens multifold, just purely because you've changed the user experience. Some, some more examples of that. These examples are actually, some of these examples are actually live and you can actually look at them out there. Here's my favorite one, on how one could essentially take the weather application and literally bring in advertising which is very, very close, very, very native to how the weather application essentially works. Let me show it to you once again. As you can see here, all of these experiences can actually be created at the, um, at, in a very, very simple, uh, simple manner. And there are many such examples on how one could essentially build this. I actually now want to get to the, <clears throat> get to the next section of all of this. I'll show you a few more examples. Actually, there's one more category that I want to talk about, which is more around utility and entertainment. So if you look at the, the utility segment, again, within the utility segment, there are many examples on how one has actually disrupted this. And these examples are very, very core to how one needs to essentially look at this. These are called icon ads. A lot of these icon ads are essentially very different from the banner ads. They're very different from the feed ads that one essentially puts in. This is an example on you know, how one could actually monetize the, uh, the, the bookstore, the, the you know, equivalent of an iBook or a Kindle, the Kindle store. And these can be monetized because one can now create ads which can actually fit into this experience and not disrupt this experience anymore. I don't know how many of you could notice, but the ad is the one in the middle, uh, in the middle row out there. Similarly on how one could look at, looking at entertainment portals and how could one bring out different level of experience within that. These are some of my favorite examples, by the way, because they have truly transformed how one looks at advertising. Let's Let's come to the next section of this. All of this advertising, by the way, is all about from a publisher perspective. So the first part of all of this was, you know, how does advertising really bring user experience to the front? How does it make sure that the user experience is great? The next part of all of this is, how should we, how is that even performing? So in the last 10 weeks, you know, we have launched this in beta in, you know, 10 weeks ago. And the results that we have seen is that the monetization that native advertising is having across, you know, 500 partners that we have had in the last 10 weeks is almost about five times. Five times monetization and five, five times better return on investments for, for advertisers. So therefore, certainly the units, those things are really, really performing quite well. And this was my debate with the engineers, by the way. Because most of the innovation in, in the user experience on the advertising side in the past, in the past five years of mobile advertising has always been about, hey, we can create this great user experience, but then the monetization suffers because you, know, you cannot actually create a lot of advertising for it. And so my debate with my engineers was always to say, hey, how can we create something which not only just you know, gives great user experience, but also does it at scale? And so therefore, what we are able to do effectively, if you were to look at this, we actually made all our ads, we actually like to believe we converted all our ads in the form of a liquid. A liquid which can then take the shape and the form of any ad format 
that gets created by each one of you out there and therefore you end up creating an ecosystem where the the opportunities the ad formats are infinite so let me give you a let me give you a sense of this prior to us launching this the total number of ad formats that existed in the world were roughly about 10 to 15 all of those iab standard ad units 300 by 250 you know 400 by 300 etc those were the only ad units that existed with the first 100 partners that we launched the number of ad units just on our system increased from 15 to 350 and as you increase those number of units just from 100 partners we needed to create a scalable way for the ads to essentially take the shape and form that they needed to take and therefore having the ads in the in a liquid form became paramount to the success of how we will actually be able to scale advertising as we go forward and therefore the crux of our engineering the crux of our effort has been in making sure that every ad unit that gets created actually gets filled up with an ad as soon as possible we believe that by end of next month we would have roughly about 3000 ad formats on our system each one of those ad formats will essentially get filled with ad on the fly and that's the scale at which these things are getting uh, is is creating a disruption in the system today let's also look at how native advertising i believe will actually fundamentally change the space till date a native experience a native ad experience was always something that the largest of developers in the world would focus on the top two or five two or three developers top two or three publishers can only could only afford to take build native ads because the advertisers were willing to essentially support them only we believe by the way with this innovation on how we are essentially bringing out native ads in a way that not just you know the top 5 10 50 people but the next 10000 people can actually make their you know ads native we believe that it will create a fundamental disruption in the industry here is how we think of this native ads today is roughly about 3 and a half billion dollars worth of industry largely controlled by two to three players we believe that by 2015 this is 2013 number we believe by 2015 native ads would take over the non native ad or the banner ad space it will actually surpass the banner ad space it would actually go to roughly about 24 billion dollars worth of industry of which roughly about 60% of the native ads would be part of the non top 50 developers the 60% of this ecosystem would be controlled by the 10000 developers that are out there and that are essentially trying to essentially you know create the next level of user experience and to me this is a fundamental disruption in the ecosystem just not just from a user experience perspective but also from this from the size and the scale of the industry perspective and so as i bring this to the end you know we kind of look at two or three things which are very very important from the industry perspective how can we actually keep and bring the user at the at the center of all of this so therefore build everything with the user experience in mind bring out what a developer essentially needs from a monetization capability point of view so therefore essentially bring out how can the monetization be roughly about five times or more we have had developers who are whose monetization by the way has gone up almost 10 times and the third essentially is from the advertiser perspective where not just the roi which is obviously very critical but also their ability to essentially create these ads at scale not having to create multiple different ad formats for different 
uh, publishers, but be able to create ads in liquid form, therefore technologically solving the problem of scale and applying these ads to all the people in the world fundamentally makes native advertising, great user experience, part of everyone's world, and therefore it democratizes, you know, net, it democratizes user experience, brings it to each one of you, and in addition, it also disrupts the industry which has been existing for the last, you know, five to seven years. And therefore, I fundamentally believe this is the future of advertising, this is where it is headed, and this is where we are trying to lead it to, and I'm extremely happy and proud to be actually launching this at GMIC. So therefore, you know, just like China has been a huge success for us since we launched in China and we launched China at GMIC, we believe and a new disruption that we are trying to launch at GMIC this time would actually truly bring out the disruption in the ecosystem as we go along over the next several years. So with that, thank you so much.